So I did this experiment with hippocampal neuroanatomical variation, aggression, whatever. Now you, in your lab, take the same strains, different mice of course, but the same strains, and you look at something completely different, the cerebellum or whatever. And now you can take those data, your data, my data, and put them together and see what they are going to tell you. And so there are databases about that. And so there's things you can do because everybody who is using these strains is putting the data in there. So you can do incredibly complex analyses, which were not would not be available and not be possible if you didn't have open science, if you didn't share your data. Uh, I think it's critical because we get funded by the public. The public pay for what we actually do. Um, and so to not then have that open to the public, um, it just seems wrong to actually then sign that over to a private company that then makes a profit off what we're doing when it's being paid by the public and then the public not to have access to it, politicians not to have access to it, um, people who, who need that information not to have access to it and people from other countries, from third world countries that don't have the money to actually pay for those journals and are making money out of science, um, not to have access to that is just, it's, not, it's I personally think it's morally wrong. Um, and so I think open access is the only way we should be going and I'm glad that a lot of the granting bodies are now going towards ensuring that we have open access for anything that is publicly funded um, and also um, having the data accessible as well. So, you know, for somebody to get a grant, collect lots of data, especially with something expensive such as neuroimaging um, and then to hold that keep that to themselves and not have that accessible to other researchers when it is publicly funded. It's not my money, it's the public's money. It should be accessible to everybody. And so PLOS One opening it up and allowing us to use PLOS One as a database so that everyone can access that, uh, that data, I think is really essential and the way to go forward. It is important to be able to validate results and make sure that the published results are actually reproducible. And we've, there are way too many published papers whose results are essentially not reproducible for, for various reasons. And it's very often not the author's fault. You know, sometimes it's a fluke, they did some statistics and they ended up finding something they thought would be significant and it turned out not to be. By having the data published, it allows others to actually see or reanalyze the data and it allows for more transparency, more validation, better statistics, better and ultimately, I would say, say better science than in a, quotes, closed access journal. Right. Yeah. You, you can, th there's things you can do that you couldn't do otherwise. Mm -hmm. And to me, that, that's the most important thing of, of open, open science, open data. So uh, if you think what science is, so it's observing the world, uh, mm, trying to see some pattern or to validate uh, an hypothesis or to uh, build around an idea and then uh, sharing the results of this analysis with the rest of the community. This is what we basically do and uh, doing it in an open fashion is basically the, the ultimate aim of it. So, I mean, no one should reply to a single reviewer as if it was a person X. I mean, it should be always a proxy of a much wider community. So in the same way, uh, the, the, the data that I collected should be, could have been collected by anyone else. I mean, the same nature of the statistics that we do. So, I mean, we try to generalize our results. So this kind of implies that the data that uh, my colleague collected could have been collected by me or could have been collected by, by my colleagues, so they should be the same. And so by making them open and public, we are actually doing this. We are making everyone's data, uh, properties and subject of the research of everyone.